Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, make a ASPX and a login system in VB.NET ASPX. Um, this is very helpful for user registration and login. It works, trust me. Um, I'll show you. First thing we're going to need to do is open up Microsoft Visual Studio. Uh, new project. Visual Basics. Web. ASP.NET Web Application Net Framework 2.0. Uh, this is a later version of Net Framework, um, but it'll work just as good. So we're going to create this. Now the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a bit of source code. Um, let me get this out. I'll post a link to the source code uh, in the description. Oh, where did it go? Here we go take this here and uh, we're not going to put it here we're going to go over to solution explorer and web.config and we're going to paste it right here um, let me explain this this is the server uh, dot lo is the local server a database its users we're going to be changing that in a minute so just leave this open and trusted connection is yes. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is you need to have SQL Server 2005 or 2008 installed. Uh, there are several videos, just look up how to install. Uh, database Engine, and it, it'll auto create all this for you. Just click connect. Okay, so now we are connected. Go to databases new database and we'll name this YouTube login and click OK now it's going to create your database now to keep it short uh, Microsoft and ASP have created something for us that will allow us to auto populate this database uh, everyone who has this installed everyone has this on their computer it's local C disk Windows Microsoft.net framework v2.050 whatever and that's why we're using net framework 2.0 now you're gonna open this folder right there and you'll see something that says uh, ASP.net underscore reg sequel dot exe or just reg sequel Okay, first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna click this. This is gonna open up a window for us. Click next. Just leave it as is. Uh, your server, you may need to type that in, just the name of your computer or whatever you did when installing a SQL Server 2008 or 5. Uh, database, we're gonna come down here and we're gonna click YouTube login or whatever you named it. Click next. <coughs> Sorry. Click next again. And you're going to click finish. As you can see, no errors. It worked just fine. Now you can come back to our database in here and view the tables. It populated tables for us and created them. Now we need to come over here to this. It's dot for the local server, unless you're running on something else, but it'll most likely be dot. Database will be YouTube, login, and trusted connection. Just good standard practice. You'll want to memorize that code. But if you like to do as I do and just um, keep everything stored, even if you have it memorized, just for fast reference, that's a good idea too. Save all, build. Okay, now you're going to go to default.aspx, which is also over here. You're going to go to toolbox, and you're going to click login view. And as you can see right now, login view tasks, it's set to anonymous template. And that's how we want it right now. Now we're going to click in here and then click this. That's what you want to see. Now click back up here on login view and click logged in template. Toolbox. Uh, we can just have a login name, username. And uh, that'll, it'll just show us that we're logged in. Now we're going to come down here 
and let's oh we need to change this back to anonymous template let's come down here and say we've got someone needs to register log in a uh, create user wizard I think would be the best option yes that is that's the best option now what you're gonna need to do is click on the login view and then click this little arrow over here we'll just click on the login click the little arrow and click administer website give it a second it'll open up or it should we'll go up here click uh, ASP.NET configuration uh, it's not open it's strange let's close this browser there we go okay now this will open up the ASP.NET panel for this database you can go to security and you can set different uh, security options uh, this runs kinda slow all of that uh, just I'd ignore it it's not a big deal web.config line 9 let's make sure we don't have an error it's always best wouldn't you say uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Connection strings. Huh. We got an extra one, it looks like. System.web, app settings, connection strings. So that's the end. We can just remove that. On the lines there. Me being stupid. Save all. Let's come back in here. Let's give this a refresh. Let's see what it does. This really isn't that important. This part right here. Security. There we go. Error fixed. So uh, you can create access rules, manage. You can go to application. And uh you just have all sorts of features here that's what I like it's really really nice um, so this is your panel just roam around and explore but now let's get back to our application uh, the login view and the create account normally you just put these on different pages but for uh, our purposes we're gonna leave it like this now we don't have a user yet so we'll have to register um, or yeah we'll just we'll use the registration feature I'm pretty sure it'll work now this is what I like about ASPX it does a lot for you so for uh, those people that don't want to do much let you work oh it logged in as my computer because there are no accounts registered so it doesn't have any to pick up so we'll make an account uh, we'll name it Sigma Hero password. None of your business. Email test at test.com. Hi and hi. Won't make a difference. Create user account successfully created. Let's see if we hit this. Okay, so we know the account has been created, and I will prove it to you. Go to databases. Go to members, and uh, oh, how about we just click a uh, select top 1,000 rows? Okay, count created. Remember, I w I do want it to remember. Now let let's remove this, and uh, the login view. Uh. You can play around with it. You'll figure it out. I'm just going to put a quick login on here to show you. Login. Now, as you see, there's no errors, but I'm showing uh, the reason I removed the login view is to show you what would happen. Nothing happens because there's no other options to go to. There's no other displays. That's where the login view comes in. Uh, with the login view. 
it allows you to change the displays like login view and this will it this will this is what it'll do when it's anonymous and then login now this may not work on my computer due to the fact of auto login because I wanted to save the password so it auto logged in we'll see if we can change that enable theming enable view state it doesn't look like we can uh, another thing I want to show you real quick is what you can do from this panel uh, it's there's a lot you can do oh and it's timed out so we got to exit project ASP.NET configuration there's a lot you can do and I'm trying to keep this video short so I'm not gonna do this much longer but as you can see right now it's logging into my home machine since we're the host but it wouldn't do that for you uh, set up an authentication type I'll show you this I can't pronounce that word from a local network from internet we'll do local network okay Well, I think I'm going to cut it here, and I will continue in the next video, if that's alright with you all. This is getting quite lengthy. Um, please enjoy watching. I hope this showed you how to create a user database. Um, I will show you the results in the next video to show you that it worked. Uh, there's no source code involved, except for that bit, which I will post. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, please visit my site in the description. See you in the next video.